Hi everyone, welcome to um, series two of my Christmas projects that I'm planning to do. Um, this is the first one in series two, which will I'll be working on bracelets for this series. And this is a wire wrapped bracelet. And it turned out so incredibly beautiful. I can't even begin to tell you how beautiful this bracelet is. And it fits really nice on the wrist. Um, you can use this kind of a closure, a lobster, or you can use uh, a toggle closure. The only thing I'm not f crazy about are these little insect antenna looking things. I, I don't like them. So I was trying to figure out what I could do with them and you can always just fold them to the back behind the bead like that if you don't like them. The only thing is, is they're going to stick up like this. So it's entirely up to you what you want to do with these, but they are kind of ugly. But you can leave them on a slant like that and it looks nice. Now, this is all made out of 24 gauge wire. I did, however, try to make this with two needles and thread and this is how it turned out. Really flimsy. Um, it, it, I, I still have to take this apart, but it didn't turn out like the way I wanted it to and these didn't even stay flat. So this is definitely uh, not the way to go in making this bracelet. So for this bracelet, if you're going to make this particular one, um, you're going to need a bit of wire. I can't tell you exactly how much wire, but you're going to need enough to go down and back up for two sides. One side are separate pieces of wire. Um, in here I use two, four, six, eight, sixteen, six millimeter rounds, so there are sixteen here. This is an eight millimeter round in a dark red. And you're going to need twenty-eight bicones if you're going to make this size. Um, if you're going to make this smaller, um, I would suggest taking seed beads out of here rather than take out your Swarovski crystals. And that's what I'm using are Swarovski crystals. So you're going to need uh, 28. You're going to need just one 8mm big bead. And of course you're going to need a couple of jump rings. I'm using um, two 4mm jump rings, a closure, lobster closure, and a larger jump ring for the hook to hook the closure into. Now, today I'm going to make this in purple and silver. So these are the colors I'm going to be using. An amethyst purple. I'm using uh, a dark amethyst bicone in a Swarovski. And in this purple bead here, it's called Rainbow Lavender Mist. It's such a beautiful purpley color. So I wanted to stick with some dark and some light. And in the middle bead, I'm going to use this eight millimeter um, crystal bead. So I, you're just going to need one eight millimeter crystal bead. And there's my one crystal. You're going to need all your tools. Of course, you're going to need your round nose, your chain nose, and your cutters. And if you have a pair of nylon pliers, these are going to come in handy and you'll see why. And I'm absolutely excited because I just got my new beadsmith kit from Beadaholic that I ordered this whole set. And it came with all these pliers, including a split ring, uh, split ring tweezers, came with needle nose tweezers, and bent nose pliers. So all of this came in a one kit. It was a $30 purchase, but it's worth it. And I love the size of these. They're, you know, perfect for, especially ladies with small hands. These are nice. You don't want to be using big pliers anyways, because it's hard on the hands. So like I said, you're going to be needing, um, it, it's an ideal to have these nylon pliers, because you'll see you're going to need them when you're cutting your wire. Now, to get started, I'm going to go dump all my stuff and I'm going to come back, okay? Geez, I didn't even tell you guys all the supplies you needed. I've, I've lost my marbles. Honestly, I have. <laughs> all I'm telling you about, I'm so excited about my pliers, I just told you about the pliers. Um, I am using these um, 3 millimeter or size 1 uh, Mayuki um, 2 beads or bugle beads. 
So these are those tiny ones I used in one of my projects. I'm using these. I did tell you you're going to need 28 Swarovski crystals. So there's two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Oops. Twenty-one and seven more. Six, seven. So there's seven. Twenty-eight, I mean. I'm using twenty-eight purple. Um, I also using these four millimeter silver plated beads. And I like these because the wire making several passes through the wire through these beads. Um, works perfectly so you're gonna I don't know how many of these you need I didn't quite count them if you want I'll count them so we have three four five six seven eight nine eighteen so you're gonna need 18 of these silver beads eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen and eighteen okay so let me put the rest back because once all of these are gone, then you'll know that we're done our bracelet. All right, so now I'm going to start cutting some wire. And you want to cut yourself. Uh, I, I really can't tell you exactly how big of a piece to cut because that's going to be hard for me to tell you this because I don't know. But I'm just going to go and pull off, and I'm using 24 gauge craft wire so it's non-tarnish. So I'm going to go ahead and cut one feet, one foot, two, three feet, probably three feet. I'm going to cut three feet. Okay. So let me just snip these off. And I'm going to take my trusty old pliers here and I'm just going to run them. Oh, these things are incredible. I've never owned a pair and I'm really glad I do now because these are going to come in handy for this wire wrapping. Because you're going to be kind of bending your wire and you don't want to do that because if you bend this wire, um, it's hard to get these bugle beads to go over. So if you have kinks in your wire, those bugle beads don't move too well. So, now I've cut three feet, which is looks to me like it's probably too much, but it'll have to do. Now I'm gonna have working with both of my ends here, because it's like a right angle weave, and I wanna just kind of, oops, that didn't work too good. There. Now, you're going to pick up, for starters, you're going to pick up your big, huge bead. That will be your center bead here. So you're going to pick that up. Then you're going to pick up oh, your 11 ho, 11 -0 tohos I'm using. So you can use any 11 -0 seed bead. I'm going to pick up one 11 -0, one crystal. Oops. And oh, jeez, one crystal and one eleven o on this right side. On the left side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pick up an eleven o, the crystal, and eleven o. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up another crystal, and I'm using these six millimeter round crystals because they have nice big holes. Well, not big, big, but enough to get both my wires to run my wires through like this. So this is where we're going to make the center of our wire. So I've crossed in the middle bead here. I'm just going to pull it down carefully like try to we're going to try and get it even but the last thing you want to do is kink your wire. Do not kink this wire. So when you're pulling it be very careful. So this is about center right here, okay? 
right there. So I've kind of kinked it like that. So I'm going to keep pulling this down, pulling this side down. Like I want to keep, I want my um, ends to be even. So keep putting your ends together. Once we get this even part done, we're good. Okay. And as you can see, it's definitely not even. So now I'm going to carefully keep pulling till we get this center. So I'm going to pull a little bit here, a little bit here. All right, and give it a good tight pull. And this is what you should have. Okay, it's like exactly like a right angle weave. And this is why I say these nylon pliers are going to come in handy for this type of work because I've just bent and kinked all my wires. And believe me, I had a heck of a time yesterday doing this because I don't I didn't have these things yesterday. Okay, so on your on your uh, wire, this is what you've got so far. So, now I need to move all of these out of my way because yesterday I knocked a lot of beads on the ground with these wires and so <laughs> you just want to keep your stuff a little pushed out of your way and I'll be back. Okay, so I've pushed everything out of my way because it's going to be a lot easier. Okay, so now we're going to make another unit like this. Okay, so let's take our one end, which I kinked, of course. If it gets really kinked at the end, just cut it off. That's why it's good to have that little bit of extra wire. It doesn't hurt anything. You're going to pick up one 11-0 one crystal and one 11 -0. on your needle or on your one side of your wire let it fall to the middle bead and then you're going to take your other end and you're going to do the same thing you're going to pick up one 11 -0, one crystal one 11 -0, and one more crystal okay. so we're going to pick up another crystal so this is what i have here i'm going to let those two fall I'm going to take this one here and I'm going to cross this one in the opposite direction through that crystal like this. So now you can pull this one side at a little bit at a time. This is going to be a lot easier now because we have our wire centered. So as you can see it's just a lot easier and pull. So there's what we have so far. And if you pull it nice and, and tight not too, too tight that you're going to break the beads. But you want to make sure you don't have a bunch of wire showing either. So just try to be very careful. And I promise you, I'm not a wire person. I don't do wire wrapping. But when I started this bracelet yesterday and started it on these two needles and seen the mess it was turning out, I was so upset that because I was know what I, I knew what I was trying to aim for, but it wasn't working. All right. Now... What we're going to do next is we're going to pick up, try to flatten out my end here a little bit. Hopefully it will. There we go. I don't want it to be any kind of pink kinks. Now we're going to pick up 11-0 and our silver beads. So we're going to pick up one silver bead or gold bead, whatever. It's a four millimeter silver plated bead. So I picked up one 11-0, one silver bead, and one 11-0 on this side of my wire. So this is what I have so far. And on the other side, you're going to pick up the same thing. So you're going to pick up an 11-0. This is bent there. Okay. So 11-0. A silver bead and an 11 0 and then you're gonna pick up draw let those fall then you're gonna pick up one more silver bead and we're gonna cross our our ends through this 11 0 or this four millimeter silver bead and you guys can use whatever beads you want you just don't have to use these particular beads but just be careful um, and make sure your center bead's a big bead because now you go when we do the other side of our bracelet we have to go through this center bead again 
So you've got actually like three passes of this 24 gauge going through that. And I wouldn't try it with any bigger gauge because um, then you're going to have to look for big hole beads for sure. So stick with 24. Um, 22 might work. Okay, so I've crossed them over and I've pulled this down. So and I've just kind of done a little bit at a time. I'm just straightening out my wire again. And this doesn't look straight to me, so I'm just going to fix it up and straight pull. Nice and tight. Okay. So this is what we have so far. Okay. Looks good. See my wires already snagging all my beads here and pushing them everywhere. Okay. Now now we're going to work on this part of the bracelet. I love this. This is so, so pretty. It just, it, it's stunning to me. I love it. So what I did, uh, like this is going to be a, a, an 8 inch bracelet. Okay, because it fits my wrist and, and I wear an 8 inch very comfortable. This is perfect for my wrist. Now if you want to make it a little bit smaller, um, you want to take out some seed beads. Not too, too many, just some seed beads. Instead of putting two, put one. Where I'm putting two, put one. And that will definitely make your bracelet incredibly small. Not small, small, but smaller. So, where I'm picking up two, so I'm picking up two 11 O's, one bugle bead, a four millimeter crystal, another bugle bead, two 11 O's. Okay, this is what I've picked up. Two 11 O's, a bugle bead, a four millimeter, a bugle bead, and two 11 O's on my needle. Let those drop all the way down to your work. Now grab your other end, pick up the same series of beads. So two 11 O's, a bugle bead, a four millimeter, a bugle bead, and two 11 O's. Now you're going to pick up one silver bead, but don't cross your ends in it the same way we did previously. The way your, 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 your um, wire is exiting, you want your second wire to go up from the bottom out of that bead in the same direction so both ends are coming out of your bead like this. Okay, so make sure you put it from the bottom up. And then just pull this bead down carefully. Okay, and you're going to have to pull your work tight so you don't have any silver showing. And you can spread this apart like that. And it's going to stay. And as you can see, my bead came. Okay, so this is basically what you're looking for. Nice and flush. Nice and tight. Alright, and now we're just going to repeat what we just did again. And we're going to do this three times. So I'll show you one more time. Now you're going to pick up two purple beads, or two, two purple, two 11 O's, a bugle bead, a four millimeter, whoops, that snaked, a bugle bead, and two 11 O's. Doesn't matter which side you work on. And let those fall. And then grab your other end and pick up two 11 O's. And this end is kind of funky. Two 11 O's, a bugle bead, a four millimeter, a bugle bead, and two 11 O's. Okay, and then you're going to pick up one of your four millimeter silver beads and you're just going to take your other end and you're going to exit this bead in the same way the other wire is exiting, like so. Okay, and then carefully let all your beads come down and then just slide your bead down. If you stretch your work out, you'll see everything slides down. 
and then you want to kind of pull this apart in the middle grab your bicones and kind of pull it apart and push it down and pull each end individually with your other hand so it pulls it in there nice and tight so you kind of like have this diamond shape right here all right now we're going to do this one more time and then I'm going to show you how to do your end and it's probably something I just rigged up, but I found it to be feasible when I was working with this. Pick up two 11 oz a bugle bead, a 4 millimeter crystal, a bugle bead, and two 11 oz Let that fall down. Now do the same thing on the other end. Pick up two 11 oz a bugle bead, a 4 millimeter crystal, a bugle bead and two 11 O's and pick up a four millimeter silver ball. Take your other end and come up into that silver ball like so and pull your ends out, straighten your bracelet out like this, flatten it out, hold it in your fingers and then just slide your ball down to your work. Okay, now pull it nice and tight and I can see it's not really all that tight yet. Just maneuver it. There we go. That side is tight and this one not quite as tight as I want it to be. So pull it open. There we go. You can manipulate these but don't manipulate them too wide. All right, so like that one, I did too wide, so I'll close it up a bit. All right, so now we're at the end. We've done our three, and that's all I've done here was three. One, two, three, and we have one, two, three, yes. All right, now to make the um, uh, what did I do here? Yeah, that's right. All right, now you're just going to grab both your wires because now we're going to make a wire wrap on the end here. But you need your round nose pliers for this. No cutters yet. So take your round nose pliers, put both ends together, um, I don't know, make a loop maybe this big. Get close to your work. So get close to that last bead you put on so you can see I've only got a very small amount of wire showing here. And that's where we're going to do our wire, wire loop. So bend it this way and then take your wires, both of them and wrap them over like this. So as you can see, you've got, if you separate them, you've got a wire on the left and a wire on the right. So take this wire and keep, keep finish off your loop like this. Then take this one on this side and finish off your loop this way. Okay? Now, pull your pliers out. Okay? As you can see, we just made a really nice loop. Now, I'm going to take my pliers and um, I'll take these flat nose ones and I'm going to hold both of these, okay? Now, we kind of want our loop to be facing this way, so give it a turn. So you're going to take your one wire that's crossing this way and you're just going to take it and wrap. Wrap it around the wire nicely. So I've got two wraps there. Now take this one and go this way and wrap it this way. So we're going to have two nice wraps here.
All right, so now you've just made yourself a wire wrap loop on the end. Um, you can straighten this up by putting these back into your round nose. Straighten that all the way around. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as you can see, our loop is perfectly fine. Now, you've got both pieces, one going this way, and that's what you need, and one going this way. Now we're going to come back up this bracelet, working back up in these nice little diamond shapes. Okay, so you can probably see I have too much wire, so I'll know for next time. <laughs> now what you're going to do here is make sure your wires are crossed in the middle of your bead your wire wrap you just did. Okay, so mine are perfect right there. Now, I'm going to flip this over because I want these wires, hey, tiki, where these wires cross over, I want that to be on the bottom. Okay, so I just want it to be like this. Now, you're going to pick up on one end, you're going to pick up a bicone. One bicone one bugle bead, and two 11 O's. Okay, that's all you're going to pick up. A bicone, a bugle bead, and two 11 O's. Let that come down to your work here. And you're going to do the same on this side. You're going to pick up one bicone, a bugle bead, two 11 O's, And you're going to pick up one of your silver beads, like so. Ouch, tiki. And then you're going to come back up, same way as you did with the other ones, putting both ends so they're exiting out of the same way on this. And bring this down. So pull your work nice and tight. As you can see, i got a few kinks in my wire. And bring this down carefully. You want your, your bicones to sit right there. So make sure when you push this down that your bicones are sitting on the outside of that bracelet like this. And the silver bead kind of ends up in the middle. So I'm just going to pull. And my battery is dying. So i got to go and charge my battery. And I'll just leave this till we get back. Okay, this is how you want this to look. Make sure you flatten this out like this. I'll be back. I gotta go charge my battery. Ta da! It's partially charged. <laughs> okay, so we've ended where we added um, this here. So we've we've put our our silver bead on. Now what you're going to do is put your two ends through this first diamond. We're just going to weave it in and out. So as you can see my ends are not very even. But that's okay and try not to pull it through but try not to kink it too much because it will kink in here. So if you want to just kind of like everything's coming out of place here so we'll fix it up though. There we go. want to push everything back. I don't remember it doing it this bad yesterday, but okay. Pull it through, straighten out your ends, and then you'll be able to push everything back. So I'm just going to grab my nylon pliers here. All right, so now Our, bead, our beads are on the end where I've told you to put the two purples. Make sure they're lined up beside that silver bead on the end like that. Okay, and this one kind of lines up in the middle here. So make sure you just push those like this. So our, 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 um, our um, wires are coming out the bottom. And I'm going to use my pliers on this again. 
just to get it nice and smooth here. Okay. Now I'm going to take one end and now I'm going to start the weaving again, picking up two 11 O's, a bugle bead, a four millimeter, a bugle bead, and two 11 O's. And let those fall all the way down to your bracelet. And then you're going to pick up the same thing on the other end, two 11 O's, a bugle bead, a four millimeter, a beagle bead, and two 11 O's. Oops. Okay, now pick up one four millimeter uh, silver bead. Okay, and now you're going to take this end and you're going to put this end through your silver bead, same way. Pull it out straight, pull it down. Okay, like this, till you have that. Now you're going to do the same thing here as you did on the other side. You're going to kind of stretch it out in a diamond shape, not too much. Pull your wires tight first. Okay, and then you're just going to bend it into a diamond shape like this. So you kind of want your, your Shroskis to be even with your silver pearl or your silver bead. Okay, so now we're going to pull this one more time tight and make sure it's good and tight in here and you don't leave it loose. Okay, and then you're going to bend it up and you're going to stick your two ends in the next diamond coming back up like this carefully without bending any of your kinking any of your wire. Okay, so now we've got this. So we're just weaving in and out. And we got to pull it tight again. Okay, so now we're on this side. There is really no front and back to this right now. Okay, so now we're going to pick up the same thing on each uh -huh. one. We're going to pick up two 11 O's a beagle bead, a four millimeter crystal, a beagle bead, and two 11 O's. And you're gonna let them fall all the way down. Two 11 O's on the other one, a bugle bead, a four millimeter, a bugle bead, and two 11 O's. one. All right, and now you're going to pick up your silver pearl or your silver bead and you're going to take the other end and you're going to bring that through the bottom of your silver bead so you're exiting in both. Both of them are exiting out of the same direction and just bring that down. Now I'm going to stretch this out like this nice and neat. And I'm just going to slide my silver bead down right to the beads. Okay, and now you can see we need to kind of shape this one into a diamond shape, not too much. You want to keep them all pretty much the same. Now I'm just giving these a tight pull. Okay, and now we're going to weave our wire back through this way. And you can see it's going to kink, so keep it, keep an eye on it, that it doesn't kink on you. Just keep pulling it very, ever so slowly. Alright, now that's done. So now you just want to shape all your pieces, make sure they're all properly shaped. If not, fix them up with your fingers. I mean, this this wire is very flexible. Give it a nice tight pull. And then you might want to take your pliers, your nylon pliers, and straighten all your wire out nicely. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And there we go. 
Okay, now to me this is going to be the bottom of my bracelet and the top part is going to be what's sticking up here. So now we need to pull this nice and tight. You're going to pick up your whoa, mess I make. This is what I'm saying. I made a mess yesterday too. Uh, <coughs> there. Oopsies. See how easy it is to kink these? There we go. So, one end you pick up two Levinos, bugle bead, four millimeter, bugle bead, and two Levinos. Okay, and on the other end, pick up the same thing. Two eleven o's, bugle bead, four millimeter bugle bead, and two eleven o's. <laughs> now, don't pick up a silver bead because now we're going to do a little bit of wrapping. So we're at the top of our bracelet. So this part here, you can see down here. This part here is not. Whoops, it's not diamond shaped enough. Well, don't want these to come off. There we go. Kind of want these to match up. Now, pull both your ends good and strong and tight. Nothing's loose. Now, you can see I ended it right below this crystal here. So, you're going to take your wire, one side of your wire, you're going to go, how am I going to show you this? Maybe I'll show you with this end. Uh -huh. You're going to go around these beads till you are between this crystal, this crystal and that 11 o right here. Sorry. You need to be in there. You're going to wrap right there. So you're going to bring your, your work all the way to there. Sorry, you need to go underneath. Now, I'm, my, my stuff is on top. Can you see? My wire stuff's sitting on the top. Bring this wire <clears throat> underneath carefully. Make sure all your beads are not caught in any kinks whatsoever. Okay, I'm bringing it up through there, and I want to wrap it around this purple bead and between the seed bead and this side bead here. So you can see roughly where I'm at. All right, now pull it nice and tight, make sure nothing came loose and just wrap it in between. I didn't get in the right spot, there we go. Pull it tight and wrap it once. And check it over, make sure nothing came loose in your work, which nothing did. Now straighten it out again and bring it back up through here carefully. Bring it back up in this hole here. See how it kinks very easily? All right, now and give it one more wrap and face it outward. So this one is done, this side. Okay, so you can see where it's facing, it's out. So now it's on the outside. And you're going to do the same on this side. You're going to bring your work around up here. You're going to stick this up in the middle and you want to go between the seed bead and this side crystal. So holding my, my, my uh, wire underneath my finger tight against where I want to wrap it pulling it nice and tight and giving it a snug wrap like that. So I just want to check to make sure everything is all um, all straight and even. Okay, you can see it is. So bring this up one more time. You always want to do at least two wraps around that. And you want to do a full wrap. So you may have to kind of Weasel that in there. There we go. And pull it tight. Like that. 
So you have both of your pieces out facing out. See? Like this. Okay. Now, to fill in this gap here and this gap there, you want to kind of make sure everything's all straight and perfect here. So you're going to do the same thing over here. So take your end and on one end you're going to pick up three 11 O's. One, two, three 11 O's. One of your six millimeter crystals, so in my case one of these big ones is a purple. If I can grab it, it just falls right off. And pick up three more 11 O's. So on your, your wire you'll have three 11 O's. One 8 O, 6 O and three eleven O's. And that's a funky looking crystal. I'm taking this one off. Sorry. I don't like the looks of that one. I'm gonna get a new one. It's not very round. It's almost like it's oval. Okay, so this is what I have. Now you're just gonna come around, bend it ever so lightly, and you're gonna begin wrapping it the same way, but you're gonna come from the bottom so this is going to be my top part. So you're going to come from the bottom, like so, up here. And you want to wrap between that crystal and that 11-0. Okay? You don't want to be on the other side by your big crystal. You want to be on this side. Pull that nice and tight, making sure it's nice and snug. And that probably can go a little bit more so I'm going to pull a wee bit more wire okay and then I'm just going to tightly wrap it around once bring it up and I'm going to wrap it again like so and it's nice and tight in there. So now we have that crystal on. And now we're going to do the same thing over there. And I'm actually going to cut some of this end off. As you can see, I, I, we cut way too much. So maybe cut only two feet. So I'm just going to cut about that much wire. I'm only going to leave this much wire on here until I decide what I'm going to do. I still haven't thought about it. All right. Now, we're going to grab three 11 O's. Wow, did I ever make a mess with beads with the wire? Three 11 O's. One of your crystals, your six millimeters, and three 11 O's. Okay. Now, you're going to do the same thing as you did over here. You're going to come, hold your beads close to there, come around, like so and begin wrapping between the big crystal or the purple crystal and the 11 -0. but bring your line up from the bottom up so I'm going through the bottom pulling it through carefully like so oh my god this while your hooks on everything. I'm going to snip some of this off too because it's just too long and too crazy. All right, <laughs> just making a heck of a mess. All right, so now just man manipulate your your wire before you wrap it. Make sure it's nice and tight, and you're getting it between your bead, your 11O, and it's not between my 11O here. So I'm just trying to grab it between the 11 o like I did here. Push it back up and begin wrapping. Back down. Pull it nice and tight. That's it. So now you have one whole side of your bracelet done. Perfect. And when you go to put this on your wrist, you're just going, this here I like for the top. I like this last piece to sit on top and not on the bottom. So I'm just going to leave this as my top. And you can manipulate your crystals a little bit. 
make sure everything's all nice and straight. You're just going to give this a little bend. Oh, jeez, Louise. Mm -hmm. Cut some of this off, too. All right. Just give it a little bend if you want. Or just stick it on your wrist and curve it over like that. Okay, and there's half of your bracelet. All right, now what you're going to do is cut. Oh my goodness, this went on the wrong side of the bead. But who's going to notice? <laughs> Me. Now you're going to cut yourself another piece, but this time don't cut it as long. Cut maybe two feet. I'm cutting it two, two lengths of my mat, and that's it. Don't really need it that much longer. So I cut about two lengths. Now I'm just going to bend these downward so they're out of my way for now. Now I've got my piece of wire cut, and now I'm just going to stick this wire through this big per or bead in the middle and now I'm going to center my wire on here try to center it after I um, trim this piece off I don't want to it's all yucky okay so on here now you're going to pick up 11 one six millimeter crystal and 11 0 on one end and you're going to pick up an 11 a six millimeter crystal and 11 0 and now you're going to pick up one crystal on one end and then you're going to cross through this crystal like this with the other end and now we want to get this centered first so all I'm going to do just hold this and that's not centered try to center it as much as I can all right and then I'm just going to pull this down slowly until I get it centered it's very finicky this end the start is very finicky Okay, and then you're going to pull that nice and tight. And we'll fix this up. You see how it's wobbly in the center here? We're going to fix that up. So you got to just pull this nice and tight. Make sure it's tight. Okay. And now you're just going to continue to do this side here exactly the same as this side. And if you don't remember, just rewind and go back to the beginning and start where you're doing this here. There, you're going to put another layer of this on and then you're going to put a, a layer of right angle weave of three silver beads. Okay, and then you're going to begin the process of that. You're going to finish off your end. When you come back up to the center here, before you put your last two beads on here, I'll show you what to do once I get to there. And then we'll find a way to end off our bracelet without having a godly looking uh, bead here okay so I'll be back okay so I'm at where we're gonna finish this bracelet off um, I've put both sides on as you can see but I'm not finished adding the um, two beads on each side here so I'm just going to do that quickly pick up three 11 O's One of my six millimeter crystals and three eleven O's. <coughs> Oops, I dropped one while I was coughing. Okay, and then we're gonna go across here and go in here on this by this big crystal. I'm going between the, the little crystal here and 
the 11 ohm. And I'm going to pull that tight. That's not quite tight. Okay, so, still fighting with this. There, give it a wrap. And pull it out tight. Now, that one's done. That side's done. Now we're going to finish the other side. from underneath and pull it nice and tight wrap it once you get it nice and tight in there and wrap it again pulling it tight and facing it out now, I'm wondering what we could add in here, because now we're finished adding all our beads, and we have these two pieces of wire left. Is that not beautiful? No. And this is too flimsy, so we don't want this to be flimsy. So I'm thinking that maybe we can just twist this really tight here, twist these ends together as tight as we can that's too many times no I don't like that hmm. well we could always I did here because I bent this so it's yeah a mess um, well I really don't know what I want to do make sure you shape your bracelet kind of shape it this way Um, I'm going to think of something and then I'm going to come back. Okay, guys, I was filming and my camera has been really acting up lately and it just died on me right in the middle of filming and it didn't even catch what I did. So I did finish this off here by adding all I did was I let me try and show you. Where, where these two wires were sticking out here, where these two wires were sticking out, I stuck two seed beads on each side and the crystal and crossed through the big crystal in the middle here. And then I just wrapped the wire around the crystal here between the seed bead and the crystal. And I did it again on this side. And then I cut it, I wrapped it twice around the wire, then I cut it and broke the two seed beads. I crushed the two seed beads off and pushed this bead down so it was level with these ones here. See? It'll be sticking up once you break those two seed beads off, but if you don't do it that way, you're going to have a hard time um, putting this crystal on if you don't add those two seed beads in it. And that's how it's going to turn out. And then you just push it down, push, use your fingers to manipulate the wire down in there. Or you can use your pliers carefully, push this down like so. Okay? And it's in the back of your work. So you know what you can't even see those those two wires. And then I just made this all flush here. Okay, and then you're just going to take your bracelet and manipulate it around your wrist. Oh, I love this purple. 
gorgeous. My mom would love this bracelet. All right, and then slide it off. So make sure you've pushed everything all nicely. And you've got your, um, your two open ends like this. Because now we're going to add our lobster claw. And I'm going to use two tiny four millimeter jump rings for starters. And <clears throat> what have I got that's strong? I believe these might be strong. Nah, they're not. I'm going to just use an oval because they're thick 18 gauge wire. And you can see the difference. It's very thick wire. So I'm, I used a nice fancy one here, but I don't have any of those. I think I'm going to order some in the, uh, s the silver finish because they're pretty. So all you're going to do is take your jump ring, of course, pinch it between your pliers and open it. You get another pair of pliers here. Open your jump ring carefully. Hook it on here. And then hook your lob your your um, other jump ring on. And close up your jump ring nice and tight. And then I'm gonna close this oval one up a little more tighter than what it is. There we go. And you're going to take your next jump ring and give it a twist and put it on here. Now make sure you put your lobster claw on right so it goes this way. So it's not upside down. So when you go to do your bracelet up it does up like that so it sits kind of sideways so it sits flat on your wrist see that is this not really beautiful bracelet I really really like this design I, uh, I knew what I was trying to aim for and I just couldn't get it to do to work with the thread needle so there's the difference than having these antennas as opposed to having a crystal there. So that's the difference. That's the only difference. I really love this purple and silver one. Is this not gorgeous? Oh, wow. I'm really impressed with this myself. Yep, I'll pat myself on the back, don't worry. And I'm just going to sit here and manipulate these, like push them all um, outward so everything's all the pattern is showing up beautiful on your sides there so I'm really really pleased with this I really hope you guys enjoyed this um, make this bracelet tutorial and I'm pretty sure you're probably all going to make this even though wire wrapping is difficult and it's very difficult for me I managed to do it and I'm pretty sure you guys can manage to do it too so if I can do it you can do it so this is the series 2 of the Christmas tutorials. This is the bracelet series and I will see you all soon on the next video. I hope you like this so give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.